Minivere Kasumi lives in the village of Grem in Ferizai municipality. The widow's house is in a poor state of repair, and there is no safe clean drinking water, the wells polluted. Drinking contaminated water is the major cause of illness in rural areas like this. I have eight children. None of them have proper jobs. We have no income and live in bad conditions. In summer our well dries up, but in winter we use it even though the water is not fit to drink. We have a two-hour walk to the nearest clean water source. A stone's throw away, Kimeti Shehu and her family live in a large, comfortable house paid for by family working abroad. But they too don't have access to drinkable water. The water from their well is used for washing and flushing the toilets. They have to drive to a reservoir to collect clean drinking water in plastic bottles. People in this village often suffer from kidney problems or waterborne illnesses. My husband had to have a kidney removed. This is why their wells are polluted. In this river, they are discharging the waste water. That means all the, all the sewage water is, is in the village. Uh, the villages, they, they cannot use their own wells. But things are beginning to change for the better. The Swiss Cooperation Office in Pristina has been supporting the water supply and sanitation sector in southeastern Kosovo for the past 10 years. So there were uh, a lot of needs to reconstruct but also to develop because uh, during the Serbian and Yugoslavian uh, area, era um, the water infrastructure was not completed uh, in all Kosovo. Since 2001, 80 villages have been provided with clean water and new sewage systems. Grem is next in line. Villagers, municipality bosses and the water companies were all involved in the discussions about how to set up the system and what was needed. And this is one example of this collaboration, a new pumping station sending clean water to the reservoir. New regional water companies were set up which took over responsibility for operating and maintaining supplies in towns and villages. This water purification plant now provides clean drinking water for more than 20,000 homes. The Swiss try to make sure that the companies are capable of running the system sustainably. This is the town of Ferizai. Here and in the surrounding countryside, water rates are being collected from the end users to pay for the system. Havusha Shabani also contributes. She has a modern home in Varosh built by her son who works abroad. The house is well equipped, but until recently lacked one basic commodity, drinking water. Our well water was contaminated. Many people in this area, mainly children, had waterborne diseases. Then all the villagers got together and requested clean, safe drinking water for every home. Finally, the Swiss government agreed to provide this service. Before, we had to collect drinking water in the town. Life has changed a lot. By 2015, the government of Kosovo aims to provide water services in line with European standards to 95% of the nation's households. <laughs>